Hello again, everybody. Uh, since there was some confusion about the LED indicators on version one of this project, um, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, shoot a quick video just to show what I'm doing on the second version. Um, again, here's the board, like you saw in the last video. And um, you can see here, uh, from the Arduino, the ribbon cable goes up and controls the individual relay uh, relays. And that I have piggybacked another ribbon cable here um, on those pins. And each of these will control a set of the LEDs. And let's see, we'll just go over here. And uh, what I didn't have in the last video, you can see what happens when I'm home and not feeling well uh, from work. I'm, I still have to be doing something. So I've built the uh, back portion of the case, um, which you can see here. And if we pop around to this side, here's the inside. And this will be on uh, the left, or uh, let's see, what would that be? I guess the left side um, of, the, of the project. And that'll be the bottom, that'll be the top. But what I've done is I've um, measured out uh, where each of the eight sockets in these blue four gang holders are they're about five inches apart on center and uh, since there's eight sockets eight lights eight lights eight lights eight lights I drilled uh, I'm using three millimeter white LEDs the same ones I used before um, only this time instead of just putting them on a little board because I was in a hurry last time and I want this to you know be fairly nice what I did is I drilled through, <coughs> actually up through, uh, measured out equal spacing and drilled through three millimeter holes <coughs> and then re-drilled back this direction uh, about five millimeter holes to get the, uh, let's see if I have, uh, yeah, I have one up here. So the LEDs, you know, let's see here, I'll get this on something that you can see it on. The LED, the top part of the LED, I believe is three millimeters and the bottom is about five. Um, and that's to, you know, so that you can mount it on something and keep it from, from pushing through. So what I've done is, like I said, drilled up through this direction holes for three millimeter spacing and then back down on th on the inside five millimeters so that I could push the LEDs in and get them set just flush with the outside of the box and then hot glued them into place. Now these black strips are um, that's just some electrical tape that I put down so that I could keep things from getting shorted out. Uh, the negative on all of these, just like on the other board, the negative on all of these is are all soldered together and tied together into one bus. And this will all be covered with electrical tape so that it can't short on anything. And you can see that it comes up here, comes up here, flows over here, 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 flows over here, here, here. Now on the positive side, um, I have one K ohm resistor soldered to every one of the positive leads. And I know this is hard to see, uh, especially with this camera again, but um, again, because these are hot glued in there, the positive and negative leads are not touching each other. So the negative lead comes out to the left on every side. Left, 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 left. 
the positive lead comes out to the right and on each positive lead I've put a 1k ohm resistor and these 1k ohm resistors will be uh, tomorrow soldered to uh, that ribbon cable so when the pin goes high to turn on the relay um, and I don't know if these relays are backwards like they were with the commit with the mechanical relays on the mechanical relays uh, they needed a high voltage to be closed so when the pin was high the relay the lights were off on that socket um, which on version one of the project meant that the LED was on when the lights were off so they were reversed I don't know uh, if that's going to be the case and I actually think it's not going to be the case uh, with the solid state relays but we'll see and it doesn't make any difference one way or the other as long as I have some kind of an indication that everything's working um, so let me just twist this up here and you can see it from the outside you can see there's uh, channels 1 through 8 and then 9 through 16 and uh, 17 through 24 and 25 through 32 um, and again the LEDs are not sticking out of this side they're just on the inside of those holes because of the way I drilled it which is what I want I didn't want I don't want anything be able being able to hit them um, you know in case I have to mount this in a window or something <clears throat> excuse me so um, I think that's gonna be kinda nice I'll get that all in there and get that soldered up and then uh, probably on the same side I'll probably put the random switch out here I'm not probably going to bother with the power switch that I had before in version 1 um, because I'm working with uh, the two external since it's two separate circuits that's just kind of a pain um, we'll just power it up by plugging it in and that'll be it um, my other thought here is that this gives me plenty of room to put other options for you know maybe some push buttons for other modes or something up here uh, and obviously I still have this entire other side over here to deal with if I need more things I'm also thinking about putting in um, since I'm gonna have plenty of pins left over on the Mega uh, the Arduino Mega I, I'm also heavily considering putting in uh, a mode where it will uh, turn on based on a light sensor and just go and do its maybe go into a random mode when it gets dark enough out uh, anyway uh, just thought I'd give you all a heads up on what's up and we'll see you later